Hey guys and welcome to Farming Simulator 2017 on Hof Bergman. So, we've got the harvester here in... What field was this again? Field 22. So we've finished this harvest. We'll take our crop back to the farm. And then... Uh, hopefully this truck... Uh, truck, jeez. Tractor can hook up to the header trail. Hey, come on up. There we go. And bring that all in one lump so we can go into field four, which is canola. What was it, 17? I believe we've done. We must have done 17 already. So hope you guys get weak is going good. Mine is meh. Won't go into too much details, but meh. Uh, about it really. Uh, this is what Thursday's video I'm recording now, so I'm making a good oh, crap trailer's full. This ain't gonna work well. So we're about on schedule to what I thought would happen, honestly, uh, with live streaming as well. But we'll get ahead, and uh, I'm gonna need a backlog. Trust me, with possibly some changes that are having to happen. I'm going to need a backlog of stuff. We're going to be looking at the uh, chickens today as well because we have some uh, wee little things to look at. <laughs> right, i get the beacons on. Uh, this side of the road, isn't it? So yeah, needless to say, we have chicks. Jeez, that orange flashing there, bugs the crap out of me off the windscreen. So they look... I, I tapped over there. I was like, oh, I wonder if they've grown yet already. Mm-hmm. They look adorable. Just like any chicks would. So we'll put them into... in with the others. Not sure if we need to get any more feed for them. Hopefully not. Traffic on this map is incredibly slow. Traffic system as a whole, although it's something very minor in the game, it does need a pretty big overhaul. Which I got a hunch we'll see coming into FS19. Of course, I don't know that for sure. But I have a hunch that we will. Right, the head of trailer. Where is it? There. The dump point is just there as well. Alright, we'll do this. Whee! We'll back up to this. Which is probably going to be easier said than done, especially if I don't have the correct angle like that. Back that up. Perfecto. Now hopefully the header trailer will hook up to it. It'd be interesting to see if it will, I'm not 100%. It will be nice. These are some nice trailers too. I mean, if you're running a smaller farm, smaller map sort of thing, then in turn have a smaller combine. They're perfect, they really are. Oh, it's going to. Sweet. I will leave the be beacons on and go third person for this. And hopefully this tractor's got the guts. I wonder if I could cut through there. You know what, I think I could. Which if that's the case, I won't need the beacons. Silage clamp there. 
the this side of the yard. Actually, a bigger trailer there too. Guessing that is an area for the cows if needs be. Ooh, what way do we go? This way. That's actually a real nice back entrance into the uh, field there. Don't have to deal with all the cars. And you don't need to run through fields, which I thought you did. Sweet. What we'll do is we'll turn this here. And this can be our start point. And then this can get shoved here. Nope. Don't want to put the indicator on. We want to find the combine. Which is there. No, I have to em empty the grains. So we'll have to go back around, unfortunately, which is a bit of a Mickey take. Drop our grain there. This, for the time being, will probably put. I think that's an entrance to a forest right there, so we can actually just put it over there. Actually, no, that's a flat spot there. So we'll put the corn header here. That won't cause us any issues. Big old drop. Shame you can't lower that all the way to the ground. Instead of having to drop it a couple of feet there, no doubt would cause quite a bit of damage. Now what I'll need to do is kind of come in around that trailer once we've got the header on. There we go. Over that. And fire it up. So being canola, we probably won't get a good yield anyway. Uh, we, as far as I'm aware, we didn't plant this, so the yield's going to be low anyway. I just said anyway quite a lot, didn't I, anyway? Hmm. Well, moving on. What I think I may do is split this field into uh, two. So we'll do this long stretch. Cut it down the box, boxy bit here. And then split that into two, like so. there. So hopefully this makes sense to you guys. It does me somewhat. I'm going to make this wider so we can actually turn around quite nicely. Lift that up. So now we can just do this stretch with no issue. To me it just makes sense and instead of making that field messed up weird shape, we can just deal with this. Get that little bit here. Put 
Perfect. Works well. Someone was saying actually the other day that turning like that with a combine with a header down damages it. I don't see how that would personally. Because it's not like the headers on the ground resting and sliding along the ground. It's it's up a few inches. So I don't see how that would. And face it, doing headland turns, what are you doing? You you've got the header down turning. So I just don't see personally how that could damage a header. But there again, I think I, one of you guys replied back saying it's a game, and it is. I, I don't look too much into as far as 120% realism in farm sim, mainly because you get the people that it's fathers, dads, uncles, sisters, brother-in-law, twice removed, does it a different way, and you're doing it incorrect way. I said it once, I'll say it again, there's no rule book for farming. There's a general rule of farm. But it's basically whatever works for you is the best way. And it's basically the rule of farm I go with as far as machinery too. Is there really a better brand than others? And I know that could open up a whole can of worms. But no, it's whatever works for you the best. There's bad seeds in every machinery. What one person's had nothing but issues with, someone else down the road's had nothing but great luck and couldn't recommend them enough. It's kind of funny how it all works. Human nature, I guess. You get used to one thing and you're always going to say it's the best thing when sometimes it's not. Alright, now we can get onto this side. This shouldn't take too long, we'll do more of a headlands and whatnot. See if we can get a bit. A little tough we'll have to get after. Probably you luck with made what? Let's say 2,500 litres out of that just little box area. Not much at all. I mean, this ground probably wasn't fertilised when the crop was put in. I'm surprised not. I don't know how it's done in GE. But I'm surprised not many map makers do that. Make it so the ground's fertilised first, if you can. I don't know if you can. And then put the crop down. So the player does get a better yield to begin with right off the hop. So honestly, looking at the yield coming into this, I'll probably get most of this field done by the time I need to empty. Maybe, if not all of it. Well, as I say, we probably won't get the whole field done today. We'll do a huge chunk of harvesting. Something nice and relaxing, and trust me, I need relaxing right now. And then we'll move on to doing the chicks. And then on to another video. Uh, I want to get the Oakfield squared away and that'll be the week done already uh, then I'll probably move on to more than likely honestly I want to get those videos rendered tonight uploaded thumbnails all done tonight so I'll probably render the three videos out that I've got uh, that'll be Wednesday Thursday and Saturday's video of course, we'll be live streaming as well. All things being equal. And fingers crossed, all things being equal. And lift the header. But that shouldn't take too long to get those sorted. Actually, I just realised I haven't done too much first person. I got a coffee over here, I believe. Cold one at that. Yeah, very cold coffee. <laughs> Good groove. Gonna need it today. I'm trying to get on a somewhat better sleeping pattern when I'm over here. 
actually something more towards what I'm on when I'm in Canada. Well, the time I lay down at anyway. So it'll probably mean I won't be hanging around stupidly late with the guys on TeamSpeak anymore. That's going to be fair, it's been fairly quiet on there recently. Okay, this just took off like a rocket. I don't get that, sometimes the combine just takes off. It's really weird. And then it realises, hang on a minute, I've got MR, slow down. But you can tell the yield's pretty crappy just because of how fast we're going through the crop, we're just ripping through it. We've not many issues at all. I mean, we probably square this corner off the field too, actually. Be a weird squared off shape, but should be able to do it. Yeah, not too bad. This side here is going to be a different story. I don't know if this is even something you'd do, is square off the field. I mean, me personally, I think I would do it at IRL. You square it off and then at least it's just straight lines on each side then. So you may have a cut or two where you're not using the full potential of the combine. But surely you would be saving time by just running down and squaring off a line. I don't know. What do you guys think on that one? Yeah, see, that's going to take a few passes to square off. We'll probably just start going up and down on this. And yeah, we're not going to need to empty the combine. Quite like the 740 sort of physical size, the amount it holds, holds a good amount. Uh, if you had bigger fields, emptying it so much could get a pain. But this size of map, I th feel this combine is absolutely perfect. It really is. The size of header seems about right as well. What are we, 52%? Yeah, there's no way we're going to need to empty the combine. Be very, very surprised if we do. Ooh. Don't know why, but my nose has been really itchy recently. Probably one of my moustache hairs tickle it. <laughs> TMI? Eh. I don't know. I say that because I, in the streams, I know you guys see it. Scratching my nose all the time. So tomorrow's video, what are we doing? Uh, Thornton... Jeez, I've got Thornton on the brain for whatever reason. Oakfield. I don't know, maybe actually uh, spreading some compost. Giving that a go. Something that I noticed today that Bullet Bill and... Who I shared? Peter J shared. And that is the t the Abbey pack coming out by... I forget the guy's name. I believe it begins with A. It's a name that I don't recognise, but they look fantastic. They really do look fantastic, so... We'll definitely be having a look at them and possibly getting them on the map. Again, I don't know if they can go on consoles or anything like that. I don't know if uh, CD got his abbeys on consoles. If he did, then how he did... Does that mean Giants have a license for it, or Abby just gave him, him blanket permission to then pass on to Giants? I don't know how that works. I really don't, so I'm not saying they're not going to be on console, but the... Uh, how the works with the licensing... I don't know if it was specific to one person or not, basically. So it'd be interesting to learn that one. I may ask Bill at Bill in the stream later. If he knows. Which he may or may not. 
know, the whole situation with CD. I've not really wanted to talk about it on the channel. I just, I know about it. I'll put it out there again. Yes, I know what's happening. It's a shame. At the same time, yeah, I've really not got much more to say on it, to be honest. I really haven't. There again, we uh, may be seeing someone else come with an interesting map, which I've definitely got a soft spot for already, as soon as I heard what it and where it was set, and that is Sirius Mods with a Canadian map. Sirius Mods, the few stuff that he has released, and the stuff I've seen from him, it's fantastic. It's absolutely awesome. I think he, at one point, possibly was on the brink of being one of those people that look what I look look what I can do sort of thing. No, you can't have this. But I think I think he's on a good good page, let's say now. I'm not saying he was one of those people. I'm saying I think he was on the brink of being. So he's released a few things. But I don't know how much he's actually released in the past, but I know he's he can do a lot of good stuff. I believe his Western star, well, the Western star that I use on Oregon, I believe that's his. All right, let's grab this little section here. I can't believe we didn't have to empty this. It's probably going to be what, one thousand one hundred or eight eight thousand one hundred liters after this, maybe. No, not even. Jeez. That is surprising. Well, what we'll do is we'll hook on the uh, header again. Connect that back up to the trailer. And take that all back as one. Run the tractor back up here and empty that. But... Whether I'll show that right now, I don't know. We may go over and deal with the chickens. See what's what over there. somewhat lined up. There we go. I think actually on uh, Thornton we're ready to harvest too. Alright, switch this off. Switch that off. And chickens. How are they doing in here? Uh, they don't look too bad actually. Uh, I've got one box of eggs. Is it full? Uh, not yet, by the looks of it. Ugly box is zero out of one, so it's not full. Either good for water, good for feed. And manure. I'm guessing that's manure. It would appear to be manure. I wonder if this has a manure area for stuff like that. One thing I never actually thought about. Does it have a manure area? I don't think it does. Yeah, we could always put it in here on the cover. Bit of a waste, but we may end up doing that. Alright, so. Where is our beautiful wee chicks? In here. Here they are. Isn't that adorable? Yes, I am trying to pick it up. That is awesome. That's pretty... I'm going to say, that's pretty cool, the fact that... That sound is dynamic. Because wherever I move it, we're going to be hearing that. Now I'm going to go nice and steady. don't want to strap them down, because I may hurt them. But we'll just take it nice and steady. Can you imagine if you had a much bigger operation with all of these? 
Right, I think what we've, what we've got to do is here's our thumbnail right here. If we can zoom up and zoom in. Nah, you know what? That's not going to be a good thumbnail. Let me know if you thought that would have been. I personally do not think that would have been. Ah, sounds like the trigger stops as soon as you in the so is it when you're on foot now I don't know how it's going to work about putting them in I've no idea where they go or how they get the wrong one drop object Yeah, your guess is as good as mine on this one, people. Be free! Can we get through? Yep. Hmm. Do they need to stay in there? I'll put the straps on now. Hmm. This is the part that I know you guys probably love. Me trying to figure out this stuff. They don't have to get moved to a different incubator, surely. Definitely don't go in there. I believe these are just... In incubator, incubator, yeah. So that's not it. This table does nothing. Maybe if you just leave them there? Doesn't seem right. We'll give it a go. We'll run, run this back down. That's for the eggs. Now normally how you drop them off is here. But that am I the right height? Yeah. That just doesn't seem to do anything. That's what I'll do, is I'll just pull them over here. And I know <laughs> I know I'll be corrected if I got it wrong. That's actually uh, pick up fast. Yes, yeah, so there's nothing there either. All right, we delivered the chicks. They can figure it out. I clearly have no idea what we're doing as far as that goes. The only other thing I can think of is you have to put them into the, their own animal trailer, which... I don't know, that'd be a bit of a pain. Or maybe you sell the chicks. Maybe that's something too. I know uh, if Rob watches this or any of you guys that do know about this, you guys will let me know wholeheartedly of what have gone and uh, screwed up. Guessing this has an open differential. Open it differential. Alright, that's that. Shut down. Alright, oh, back over to this. So, what we'll do is get connected to the header trailer, dump this back. Probably get a thumbnail of this in convoy. Why not? I'm gonna get a convoy picture, I don't want to show that, so. 
We got that covered up. And away we go with this. I think we're going the right way. Hopefully we're going the right way. Yeah, we are. So it's, it looks like it was a sheep pasture, actually. Hmm. Interesting. Minus the shadow, there would have actually been a real good thumbnail area. Oh, it is. Yes. So if you ever wonder how you get the tractors to carry on smoking like that, if it's smoking and you jump out the tractor, it will keep pumping out that grey smoke. Little trick I've learned along the ways, especially for doing thumbnail stuff. Perfecto. And get rid of glance. Zoom in a wee bit, not too much. Get rid of the HUD. And picture. And just a quickness, let's get back into the cab. Just like that, we're good to go again. Okay, so we want to go down here next. I do like the grey smoke out of this thing. It is pretty cool. This truck is warming up on me. There's still some stuff in it that I wish I knew how to fix because I probably would. Like, for example, the glare off of that. That is a bit much. But really, the whole machine's there. It really is. Am I going the right way? No, I'm glad I checked. I think it's... This way. Still get a lot. A lot, lot. Wow. English. Lost in this yard. I'll just drive across this. And to save you guys the boredom, what we'll probably end up doing is wrapping it up here. And all we'll do now is bring the combine back and empty that at a later date. Probably next week now. And uh, we'll be good to go, of course, in amongst the next few days if there's a map that comes out that sparks my interest. Hofbergman may be on the chopping blocks. Well, it is. Honestly, I am looking for a different map to play that I do like. I would say that. I've had a suggestion for one map in particular a lot of and it's one that I've got little to no interest in. Alrighty, so I hope you guys have enjoyed and we'll be back tomorrow for Thorn Jeez there I'll go again. The Thornton Farm. No, Oakfield Farm. Hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you guys later. See ya.